This is the story of a witch and wizard, and they made a magic potion for casting spells, and those spells will turn the city topsy-turvy, and it's up to the animals to save the world. It's a witch, 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 this is the story of a witch and wizard. Tea time. Very good, Jacob. It won't be long until you're carrying my clubs. Huh? Oh, caddying. Just what I need for my rheumatism. Now, pay close attention as your anti-tyrania breaks a few world records. <laughs> Another hole in one! Ah! <laughs> Another hole in one. Hmm. There's no getting away from it, Jacobu. A seasoned champion like me simply needs a more challenging course. A garden is a delicate thing, Maurizio. Especially these Venus fly traps. That's why you must keep it properly watered, otherwise the soil will dry up like sand. <laughs> Blundering buffoons are once again neglecting the proper pursuit of your primary priorities. On the contrary, your exalted evilness. Mm -hmm. We have been occupied night and day with devising a spell that will meet your impeccably high standards. Spare me the foolishly futile fabrications! You have not so much as even thought about a suitably sinister spell in the last 48 hours! But silence! Now, repeat after me. I will concoct a suitably sinister spell that lasts the required seven hours as agreed to in our contract. I will, I will concoct, concoct a suitably, suitably sinister, sinister spell that lasts, lasts the required, required seven, seven hours, hours as agreed as to, agreed in, to our in our contract. And I'll expect you to begin immediately. And, and I'll, I'll expect, expect you to begin, begin immediately. immediately. You can stop the repetition. You, you can, can stop, stop the repetition. Yes, whatever you say, Mr. Maggot. That's Maledictus T, Maggot. Now get to work! <laughs> oh, oh, so much for my golf game. Looks like we better start working on a spell, Bobby. Oh, no. What about my garden? It looks like the Kobe Desert. Hopkins, you're really overreacting. It's just an easy weensy sand trap. <laughs> sand? Bobby, I've just had the most deliciously diabolical idea. <laughs> oh, a spell that will turn the entire city into a sand-covered desert. A sand-covered desert? Not bad. Not bad. By the power, hail and party of an earthquake on a roll. Through these parts, be part and party of the one and only scroll. 
did they have to lock the door and the lab window? <laughs> I don't know, but it looks like tunneling our way in is the only chance we have of stopping that spell. <laughs> inside at this rate. No, it won't, Jacob. In the movie I saw, the heroes tunneled under the fence in about... <laughs> the clock is reset, and in seven hours, my beautiful spell will be permanent! I don't like the looks of this. Fear not, brave Jacob. I, Maurizio di Loro of Venice, descendant of noble knights, may still help you <coughs> stop the evil spell. But the clock is ticking, so we better hurry to Auntie Noah's for the reversal riddle. Uh. than I thought. Don't think of it as a desert. Think of it as a very large sandbox. Huh? <laughs> well, at least somebody's looking happy. Look at Oakfoot, who never knew where to bury his bones. 
strange. I feel like I'm being watched. We should leave this place. Come on, Maurizio. <laughs> Very far. <laughs> I told you it was one of the most beautiful beaches in the area. <laughs> yeah, Dad, but where's the ocean? <laughs> I won't let you down, Maurizio. We're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> Maurizio, are you all right? Uh, uh, Sorry, my friend. Where does it hurt? Nowhere. I'm just so thirsty. Oh, nothing worse for someone with Venetian blood than a city without water. I'll never make it to Andy Noah's unless I get a drink. Hang in there, Maurizio. My raven's intuition tells me we're closing in on some H2O. starting to blur my vision. <laughs> Relax, Maritzo. That's just heat rising from the ground. Sometimes the heat can even make you see things that aren't really there. You see, when the heat... Ah, uh, Jacob, the water... <sighs> right. a bit more. Oh, yes. I know what I can do. Mm. <laughs> ah. Now then, for a riddle to counteract the evil spell. Dive into water on the land. Think how refreshing it will feel. But I hope you'll understand the importance it's a water that isn't free. Quick, give us another bottle of water so we can pour it on the ground and dive in. I'm afraid that was the last bottle. But, Auntie Noah, we could have used that water to end the spell. Sorry, but I never know what a riddle is about until it's out. Oh. <sighs> Maybe I should have stopped a few gulps sooner. Forget about how much you drank. According to the riddle, the only kind of water that should concern us is the kind found on land. You know, like creeks, rivers, and ponds. Let's go, then. Let's go to the river. Uh, but I don't want to go flying. I won't fly on your back again. We must find a means of transportation that works on all this sand. Hey, I think I've got it. Come on, we need you. We've got to break this spell. Personally, I don't have any problems with this spell. Well, leave it as it is. I wouldn't mind a stroll in my natural element, though. Oh, boy. No use looking anymore, Maurizio. There's only two hours left and no body of water left in this town. There's got to be, Jacob. The riddle said so, not me. Kids, don't stay in the sun. Put some sunscreen on. Dad, what time's the next 
tide. I'm so thirsty. I think I have camel sickness. Oh, come on. What wimps you are. Ah, I can almost hear my noble Egyptian ancestors gallantly traversing the desert floor. I have ancestors, too. Mine go all the way back to the Renaissance. Renaissance? <laughs> Modern history. My ancestors date all the way back to the days of the pharaohs. One even assisted at the court of King Ramesses himself. Yeah? Well, one of my ancestors helped Leonardo da Vinci paint the... Will you two forget the family history and start thinking about finding water? Aren't we, Mr. Grumpy? I simply cannot understand your obsession with water. Stop! I will if I please. All right, I please. <laughs> <laughs> Circuit, here I come. <laughs> and in less than two hours, my citywide sand trap will be permanent! <laughs> I like to think this greenhouse reflects my own personality. Strong, secure, and solid. <laughs> Are you sure that little branch can lead us to water? I told you, Maurizio, this isn't just a branch. It's a dowsing rod. Throughout the ages, dowsing rods have pointed the way to water when no other methods worked. There's something inside of them that can just sense water. Kind of like how you can sense bad weather when your rheumatism acts up. Exactly. <laughs> oh, please, this will never work, and I know what I'm talking about. Are you calling me a liar? Uh, Jacob? No, I'm just saying it's all in your feather-filled head. And I'm saying this rod is going to point us in the right direction, and we'll see who's the hair brain then. Jacob! Tell me another one. Jacob! Oh, water! <laughs> Full speed ahead! I will if I please. <laughs> all right, I please. <laughs> Digging until we strike water. Oh, no. Count me out. Digging isn't in this ship of the desert's contract. <laughs> hey, Oakfoot, what are you doing? I'm still burying my bone. <laughs> It's a fire hydrant, and it's filled with water. Your dowsing rod worked like a charm, Jacob. Not quite. It's going to take a hydrant wrench to open this thing. <laughs> Oakfoot, you came fully equipped. What do you expect? I'm a firehouse dog, aren't I? <laughs> All right. Ready, set, go. <laughs> I hope you have some other ideas, Jacob. Only five more minutes until the spell becomes permanent. Allow me. <laughs> All right. That's water on the land. Last one in is a rotten egg. Why didn't it work? We did what the riddle said to. It's a mirage, you ninnies. It's what happens when the desert heat causes the reflection of something real, like a pond or trees. But what you see is just a reflection. It isn't real. It isn't real. Jacob, didn't the riddle say something about water that isn't real? <laughs> Did it work? 
no, we failed. There's still sand everywhere, oh, especially in my ears. Would you two ostriches kindly pull your heads out of the sand? Yeah. We did it. We broke the spell. I never doubted it. The word fail isn't even in my vocabulary. Another spell has been ruined! I knew! Please, Mr. Maggot, we only missed the required time by several seconds. Can you not count this as a successful spell? Read your contract. The spell must last exactly seven hours to become permanent. Another spell, incompetent and incomplete. Now, prepare to accept the consequences for your phenomenally foolish failures. I suppose I have enough time to take a few practice swings. <laughs> Boy, I feel great. The desert heat warmed away my rheumatism. And it looks like I won't be carrying any clubs now that Tyrene has given up on golf. Uh, <laughs> well, it looks like Maggot has just taken it off. <laughs>